Now we're going to get started with tables. Tables allow us to format our web page with a little more control than just haphazardly throwing things together. This is how you can also get a really good layout style. All right, I'm going to continue working on this um, index file here. I'm just going to highlight all this and throw it away. And for my title here, I'm going to choose um, gloss main page. A lot of people put the 800 number of their client, kind of really whatever your, your goals are for this. And the first thing I'm going to do is insert a table. Now, there's lots of ways of doing this. You can actually uh, change this to layout mode, okay? And then from here, you can go into what's called layout. And it's telling you, hey, while you're in layout, you can choose either draw uh, cell layout or a table. Hit OK. Now, you, we can actually draw out our tables. All right, I'm going to go to standard. We can, at this point, either insert a table draw layers. I mean, there's so many ways of doing this. I'm going to stick very simple with this um, kit and just go through the fundamental functions that you want to work with. All right. The first thing we're going to do is create a table here. So let's say we want a table with um, three rows, one column, okay? And we want it to be 700 pixels wide and our border is going to be zero. Cell padding zero. I know it doesn't have anything in there, but go ahead and add zero, 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 just so default doesn't take it. All right, at this point, we're gonna say okay, and you'll see that we have a couple of options here. Uh, first of all, we wanna center this table. So you could try to select this outer piece here. You notice how it turned a little red? That's signifying that I got the whole table selected, but I'll teach you another trick. Down here, you can see the different um, tags that are available. So if I select the TD, I grabbed that particular cell okay, or row. But if I hit table, you notice I selected the entire table. Well, let's take a look at the code real quick. And this is not going to be a whole kit about code. I just want you to be familiar with it, just so um, you, are, you are familiar with where things are located. So let's look at the hierarchy. You have a TD, okay, inside of a TR. Okay, you see how those are encapsulated? So you have that wrapped around that. So you have three of those, since we have three rows. And then all of this, all of those rows, rows are wrapped around a table tag. So it starts with table and it ends with table. Now, a quick little thing that I want to show you while we're working inside of this view is the ability to collapse code now. So you can actually highlight this code and collapse it. So it's just easy to deal with settings for that particular table without actually seeing all of the code inside. So kind of a nice little feature, I think. All right, so we have this table built. What are these little guys? These little guys are little helpers, and you can view these little uh, visual aids by going to View, Visual Aids, okay, and then you can go down to uh, Table Widths to turn those on or off. Okay, I'm going to leave those off just because it's a little bit difficult to see. All right, I want to center this in my screen here. So we'll go ahead and open up our properties. And we have an alignment here, so we'll choose center for our alignment. There we go. It's just that simple to set this stuff up. Next, I want to go ahead and color code some of this. So I'm going to choose a color of black. Now, wait a minute, nothing happened. Exactly. You have to be very careful. Let me undo this. So we'll recenter this. Even though I had my mouse selected or uh, inside of this cell, nothing happened because the, um, the system thought maybe I was dealing with text. So be aware of where you're editing this. So I'll hit TD to select that cell. And then right here, where it says background color, I'll choose black. Okay. Next, this is going to be a header. Now, that header image 
is 700 pixels by 231 pixels. A great little function that they have available now is something called an image placeholder. So right up here on our insert menu, you have uh, either an image or an image placeholder. Okay, you can also go to insert um, image image placeholder. Okay, and I'll say this is the um, main banner image, and it's going to be 700 by 231. Okay, and I'll give this kind of a light color here. I'll say OK. And you can see that this image actually is now a placeholder. So as I'm finishing up my design, I can go in here and say, these are the things that I want, where I want them. And it will allocate enough space so I can visually see what I have going on. Now I'm going to need one more row. So the way you add a row is you just hit tab. And you notice it just added another row. Okay. This was going to be my footer. So I'll go ahead and change the background color of this as well. And that will be my footer. And now that leads us to this little, um, this little cell right here, right in the middle. That's where our main content is going to be. Now, as you can see, it's, it's already getting very difficult to find things and move around things. So inside of the layout, there's a great option here called Expand. And it's just telling you, hey, make sure that you go back to the regular view, standard view, when you're done. So we'll say OK. Now if you notice, my table got really bloated. And what this has done is temporarily stretched out your table, added padding, just so it's easier to select things. When you're done, you go back to standard, and that's what the viewer will see. So it's a great way to quickly get things knocked out. So what I want to do now is add another table inside of this table. This technique is called nested tables. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll select this cell. I'm going to go ahead and insert a table. Okay, this is going to have one row with two columns. And it's very important that we choose 100%. Uh, Okay. That is really important, that that table now fits in here 100% of that cell. We'll say OK, and as you can see, it's now fit in here very nicely. Now at this point, I want to set the width of this um, table. I can click and drag, Okay, so that's one option. All right. But what I'd like to do is I'll select the TD tag. And instead of 31%, I want this to be 185 pixels. There you go. It just barely shifted over. And if you want, you can actually go back to your visual aids and turn on your table widths. And you can see here it says 185, and then the rest of this is just a percentage. So if we wanted to, we could delete that percentage because it's going to be just pretty much whatever is left over from 185 pixels. All right, at this point, I'm going to just put in a little bit of text. Now, you're going to learn something unique about um, tables in that, by default, the vertical centering is uh, in the center. The, the vertical position is in the center. So if I put in, um, okay, this is welcome text. When I go to click here to put something at the top here, notice it's in the center. Well, that's not good. I want both things to be at the top. So I'll select this, and I'll choose my vertical to be top. Same thing here, top. Just makes it a lot easier when we're working with this. All right. Now let's go ahead and set some colors in here. So we'll do that in the next lesson. I'll show you how to change the different colors of these cells. Let's go back to standard view and see what we have. Everything is nice and neat. We're probably going to adjust the padding on this just so it's a little easier to read, a little easier on the eyes.